So this is a continuation of uh, our discussion kanina. So we will now be giving you, or I will now be giving you an example about the three-moment equation. Remember last time we discussed, uh, there are, I will be dividing it into two cases. So case one natin is uh, regarding a continuous beam with simple end supports. And case two are actually continuous beam with a fixed, where the end supports are fixed. No? So... Before that, let's write the uh, appropriate three-moment equation for this example. In this example, you, you, we, uh, we are given two spans, span A, B, and B, C, with a uniform uh, load of 20 kN per meter on the first span, and on the second band pa span, we have a uniformly increasing load of 18 kN per meter starting from point B and ends one meter before support C. So let's write first the uh, three-moment equation that we have derived last time. So, the um, three-moment equation applicable here since we have three points here, point A, B, and C. By the way, as I, as I have em emphasized last time, we are using the three-moment equation to solve for continuous beam. But, however, uh, please um, take in mind na pag ginagamit natin three-moment equation, kailangan natin or ina-analyze natin yung beam natin per two spans only. So, for example, you have three or more spans na given. You need to take it two spans at a time. Okay? So, in this case, we have only two spans. So, we can directly use one three-moment equation or a single three-moment equation only. So, in this case, sabi natin last time, the three-moment equation is the moment at the left support multiply this, this span or the length of the first span plus twice the moment of the middle support multiplied by the sum of the length of the two spans plus the moment at the third support multiplied by the length of the adjacent span then we have here your 6A1 A1 over L1 plus 6A2 B2 bar over L2 equals 6EI multiplied by HA over L1 plus HC over L2. So, sabi nga natin, H, A, and C are actually the vertical distance of points A and C with respect to point B. So, in this case, kung papansin nyo, wala pong given a settlement sa point A and point C. Ganon din sa point B. So, we are to assume that they are of the same elevation or same level. In that case, automatic HA and HC are considered to be zero. Okay, so, ang kailangan din lang nating values itong mga to. Also, since we have simple end supports, we all know that if we have the end support, which is a hinge or a roller, the moment at that point are zero kasi hindi naman nagre-restrain ang hinge at saka ang roller support ng moment. So MA is automatic to be zero and MC is also zero. Okay? So let's write my given. Ang unknown lang po natin dito is actually MB. Yung L1 natin is the length of the first span which is 4 meters while L2 is the length of the second span. In this case, it's also 4 meters. So, ang kailangan ko na lang po is yung value po ng 6AA over L. Okay? So, again, last time, um, by the way, there are different methods no, in determining the value of 6AA over L. Yung iba is um, kinukuha natin sa first span, tapos gumagamit tayo ng moment by parts. Okay? But we have, uh, as why, what I have discussed sa last part ng video natin during the derivation and concept discussion, sinabi natin that 6AA is actually just equal to the integral of PA multiplied by L squared minus A squared divided by L dx from 0 Hindi siya laging L, no? but in this case, it is from 0 to L. Anong, ano yung sinabi ko last time about the... Ano ba sinabi ko last time about dun sa limit natin? Kung saan lang po nakocover yung load natin. So in this case, let's write, sabi natin P is always Y dx. So parang kita yung marito, let's uh, write here a header. 
Lagay natin, this is applicable for span AB. Okay. So, for span AB, ano po ba yung y dx na sinasabi natin? So, drawing natin, ito po yung span AB. This is 4 meters. This is your load. Okay. So, yung P po is actually a representation of the load, which is just y dx. So, in this case, yung y natin is the magnitude of the load. Sa part, sa part, sa, if, you ha, if you are given a uniformly distributed load, automatic y is constant because it is a uniformly distributed load from the term itself, uniform. No? So, y here is just actually the magnitude. In that case, that is 20 dx. Okay? A here is yung distance natin sa kabilang side. So, that is, uh, let's say, x. So, this is automatic to be 4 minus x. So, in this case, substituting, we have here your 6a1, a1 over l1 equals the integral of your y is, or your p is y dx, so that's 20. Iwala natin yung dx. Multiplied by a, which is x. Multiplied by L squared, that will give you 4 squared minus A squared. A is your X. No? So that is X squared all over L. No? So that's 4. Dito natin ilagay yung DX. Ano pong limit? As you can see, the load is distributed from this point hanggang this point. So buo. So that is from 0 to 4. So... Uh, let's use our calculator. We have here the uh, integral of. May ako na ilagay yung. O oh, sige, cancel na lang natin to. This is 5 na. Okay. Ito, ilagay ko na lang yung variable natin. O oh, sige, pwede naman. Ilagay natin 5. Alpha x times 4 squared minus alpha x squared. The limit is from 0 to 4. So, this is 320. Ano pong unit nito? This is actually kilonewton meter squared. Okay. Next, how about the other part? Yung span BC. By the way, ang hinahanap lang po natin dito is to simplify, we have we are looking for moment MB only. No? Moment MB lang. Because if we will be looking for the reactions, madali na lang naman yun. We can just use statics, no? So we just need to grab uh, grab the concept. Okay? So we have span BC. Let's focus on span BC. As you can see, we have here your 6 A2 B2 bar over L1 is just equal to the integral of Actually, same pa rin yun. We can still use uh, PA L squared minus A squared over L pa rin DX, no? From 0, kung hanggang saan lang yung length ng load. Gusto nyo, parang hindi tayo nito, lagyan natin length ng load. Ayan. Lagyan natin ng subscript, no? In this case, kailangan natin mahanap yung value natin ng P. Because unlike yung uniform load, the value of P or the value of Y is not actually uniform. So, in this case, balikan natin yung load. Kung papansin nyo, ang load natin is ganito lang, no? triangular. 1 meter dito, this is 3 meters. Okay? So, in this case, let's say nandito yung force P natin. That will represent the triangular load. This is distance X. So, this is 4 minus x. Okay? So, paano natin mahanap ngayon yung intensity y? So, we can use ratio and proportion. Remember, this is 18. So, by ratio and proportion, we have y over x, intensity y over the distance x. Remember, when we are using ratio and proportion, kailangan po na yung distances natin are from the vertex. And it will form a triangle. Equals 18 over 3. So, y is just equal to 6x. Okay. Isa pa. Okay. 
Okay? So, when we are considering 6A2, B2 bar over L2, rather, this is L2, equals the integral of. Ano po yung value ng A natin dito sa formula na binigay natin kanina? A is the distance of the point load papunta doon sa side na consider natin. If you are on the left span, yung A natin must go must go towards the left span based on our derivation. That's why I want you to view first or watch first the derivation. Eh. But if we, we are in the, in the right span, yung right side ng span natin, ito, kung naalala nyo, based on the derivation, yung B bar natin, in which case dito yung A natin, must be the centroid of the moment diagram papunta sa right side naman. Okay, so ibig sabihin, tingnan na ulit natin tong point load na to. Ang piko is, remember ang piko po ay y dx. So that will give you y equals 6x. No? So we have 6x. Ano po yung value ng a? Ang value po ng a, sabi natin, dapat papunta siya sa right side because we are now considering the right span. no The right side span. So yun po yung b2 bar. So in that case, that is ang a ko dito is yung 4 minus x multiplied by L squared. Ang L ko po is 4 meters minus ang a ko po ulit is 4 minus x squared divided by L of 4. Ano pong limit? Tingnan nyo mabuti yung limit. As you can see, yung load natin, though the span is from 0 to 4 meters, the load is from 0 to 3 only. And based on our cutting, dito. Nag-start tayo yung x natin at this point. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko lang is from 0 to 3 alone. Ah, uh, 3 only rather. Kasi nga, sabi natin, yung limit natin or the integration is actually the integration of the load lang. So, hanggang saan ba yung loading natin? Yung loadings natin. So, let's again, use our calculator. If Ilabas ko na lang yung 6 over 4 later. So, we have the integral of alpha x times 4 minus alpha x times 4 squared minus the quantity 4 minus alpha x squared. Close quantity. Okay. The limit is from 0 to 3 only. Remember, di ko sinama 6 over 4. So, times 6 divided by 4. So, that will give you 702 over 5. The, again, the unit is in kilonewton meter square. So, going back to the 3 moment equation, kung mapapansin nyo sa 3 moment equation, ito na lang po yung natira sa atin. So, let's go back. So, we have 2 MB sorry, 2 MB multiplied by L1 plus L2 So, that is 4 plus 4. Then, ang natira na lang po is yung 6AA over L. No? So, that is plus yung value natin kanina which is 320 plus yung 6AB over L which is 702 over 5 equals 0. So, as you can see, we can now solve for the internal moment at support B. So, this is plus 320 divided by 2 divided by 8. Obviously, sa kabilang side. So, that will give you negative 1151 over 40 or that is negative 28.775 kN. So, that's how fast we can actually solve continuous beams using the three moment equation based on our case first case the, the first case is continuous beams with simple and support so we will now we will be having our our case 2 on the next video